For women, heart disease is called the silent killer, and for good reason. But each year, the American Heart Association tries to raise awareness by hosting the Capital Area Heart Walk in Baton Rouge. Women don't recognize this as a killer. One in three women is affected by heart disease, while they think that breast cancer might be their um, biggest threat, and that's only one in 30. Walk participant and Pennington biomedical researcher Chelsea Hendricks' personal experiences have caused her to have an increased desire to spread the word. The day before I graduated high school, my dad had a heart attack. He had two stents placed to open up some blockages, and five years later he had bypass surgery. Um, and I also have two grandmothers that have had heart operations as well. Hendricks says the main issue is that most women don't even know they're at risk. They may go for for years and just feel fatigued, that may be their only symptom. And for a typical woman, feeling fatigued is normal. It's typically symptoms that are ignored because they can be passed off as anything else. American Heart Association Director of Communications, Lindsay Kataya, urges women to take measures to guard themselves from being a victim. Women are so prone to take care of everybody else, your husband, your children, your parents, whoever it may be, you're gonna mother everyone, check their nutrition, their doctor's appointments, and women don't take the time to do that for themselves. So preventative care is key. Hendrick stresses that a healthy diet, exercise, and staying informed could help save your life. But your family history is the one thing you can't control, so if you know you have that, then you need to take the steps necessary to, to see where you are now and where you don't want to be in the future. So women, take time to make sure your heart is healthy, eat right, stay active, and be sure to get checked by your primary care physician.